In this video, we're gonna talk about AR Wall's new virtual production iPhone app and Infinite Studio. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic View and Lucidlink for helping make our NAD coverage possible. And now, back to the video. All right, we're back here with Renee at AR Wall. Renee, good to see you again, as Hello. always. Good to uh, see you. So what do we got update-wise with AR Wall? All right, here we are at uh, NAB Show 2025. <laughs> we're at B106, the BEA Exhibit Hall um, in West Hall. So we're showing off basically a 10 by 10 foot XR stage, mini XR mm -hmm. stage. This is the Education Excellence Bundle. This is $31,000 uh, right now. We're selling this as a kit. What it comes with is a screen. In this case, we have a beautiful Sony Bravia Pro 90 inch screen. This has a non-glare finish, originally designed for retail signage. Mm -hmm. Now it's, you can see here, it's got no milky blacks, no glare, mm -hmm. nothing like that. Nothing you would associate with like a glossy consumer grade uh, 4K TV. At 98 inches, it's going to be the minimum viable that we're saying for virtual production. People get started with talking heads mm -hmm. and happy to say we've shipped these to high schools, influencers, lots of creator economy. Uh, cool. Type awesome. Talking heads, product shots. Yeah, uh, stuff like exactly. That. Uh, folks are doing uh, miniatures and product mm -hmm. shots yeah. and, you know, that countertop type stuff. It's a great fit for this, uh, this type of system. So that's the first thing that we're showing off here. Uh, just have a demo for anyone who's interested to come check it out. Second thing we're showing off, we're happy to say we got nominated for a product of the year award um, for the AirFX app for iOS. So this here, um, as you can see, it has a camera mode. Mm -hmm. There's also a color lab uh, mode where you can uh, control all your color, everything that you might need, as well as camera settings to control your virtual camera scene settings to go uh, to different bookmarks and create them. And of course, the most important part, we're connecting to the actual uh, virtual production scene. So what this does is it's basically uh, this camera tracking as well as a remote control uh, for the system. Does this connect to a computer running ARFX? That's right. It? So okay. it connects to a computer running ARFX and then it allows you to do the tracking, all the remote control color set up everything actually on the device. So you basically eliminates an additional piece of hardware, which is the camera tracking, mm -hmm. which typically has been a hurdle because it's actually it's difficult to understand and set up mm -hmm. and everything like that. So now you can just use your iPhone as the camera tracker. So the bundle includes a display, mm -hmm. the AirFX Studio Box Max, that's our server that runs the uh, rendering and the processing of the tracking. It also comes with all our software, that's the AirFX Pro plugin, the AirFX app, the AirFX uh, app for iOS, and uh, the Infinite Studio. So let me let me show you uh, okay, the so tracking let's... here. So basically, we have this uh, set up right now as a track scene in Unreal Engine. So this is being tracked off the HTC Vive, and I'm showing here Pretty gigantic uh, Grand Canyon uh, type setting. So let me, this is a AI generated, created out of Infinite Studio. Here we've got basically our options menu. This is a replacement for Unreal Editor to get your system uh, set up. Uh, and it's got a lot more features. So we have all the setup you would associate here, screen size, uh, camera settings, everything like that. Here is your tracking. Right now we're using Steam VR. Here is where you would import 3D assets. So these can okay. be generated um, by the Infinite Studio tool. And then you can import uh, these. This is where you would import uh, 2D uh, graphics as well as your depth map, as well as set the settings uh, for that extrusion. Okay. Let me do that now. So we've got a few different environments here uh, that we can And so these from. were all created with Infinite Studio? That's right. Okay. These were all created today uh, with the help of our guests and visitors here at the booth. So let me show you what we were able to come up with. So here we have very interesting type of beach scene. So now I can change, come in here and have the full controls that are normally associated with a post-process volume mm -hmm. as far as uh, changing uh, temperature, tint, contrast, everything like that. I also broke it out into shadow mids and highs. If you're a color nerd uh, like mm -hmm. myself, this is gonna be uh, what you're looking for. In addition to that, We've integrated a uh, time of day and weather system. So if I all of a sudden decided I wanted this to look, um, have some rain or something like that, um, I could change that here and add some rain. And some sound effects. And some sound effects <laughs> okay. to the scene uh, as well. <laughs> oh, okay, so just adds an effect on top of your yeah. Uh, background. Yeah, and actually this is an effect, this is an effect that's in, in the entire Unreal scene. So if I back out here, this is Unreal Engine right here. And so I've got all the usual tool sets that would be associated with Unreal Engine. And, you know, I have all the uh, virtual camera controls here, everything. So this is going to be interesting to folks that basically want to uh, build quick 
uh, mm -hmm. backdrops and don't have any uh, modeling or environment design experience themselves, now that it can get up and uh, running with this technology, Infinite Studio. Cool. For, and can we uh, hop yeah. over? Let's see what Infinite Studio looks like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I've shown you half of it. Yes. Here's the other half. So when you actually create these um, assets, it's, it's somewhat difficult to understand at the beginning. We've taken a normal uh, conversational chat agent mm -hmm. that kind of understands the way that you and I speak, uh, particularly about environments creation and asset creation for filmmaking. Okay. The, and then it, uh, it is sitting in between you and these generative AI models. So we've got integrated nine so far. We're able to generate uh, imagery, uh, depth maps, upscaling, video, music, audio, and 3D objects okay. are the assets that we can um, uh, generate right now. So in between, in between you and these very robust generative AI models is a conversational chat agent. We call it the AI studio head uh, because it basically what it's doing is running your virtual studio on your behalf. And the generative AI models, can you can think of as individual departments or teams that are then creating these specific assets for you. So it's your studio head's job to basically transfer your vision and your requests into a form that is going to be uh, resulting in great output from those AI models. And so this is um, what we've built with Infinite Studio. And let me show uh, the power of this. Why, why is this interesting? Well, one of the reasons is because I can create these environments very quickly. This takes about uh, 10 seconds to create something like this. I can then upscale it to the resolution that I need for my backdrop. In this case, I've got a 4K uh, resolution image. And you can see here, this is more than just a standard upscale. It's actually adding more details and richness mm -hmm. um, to the scene. So it's almost like a cinematic finishing that's happening on the scene. Once I have that, I can go a lot of places here. This is like a fiery lava scene. And everything that I'm showing you is AI generated. The original image, the uh, video um, uh, motion added on top of it, as well as the audio. Mm -hmm. There's nothing um, that uh, you know was generated prior to this. I can also generate a depth map. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we'll be announcing uh, this week, which is not yet live here on the demo, is video backdrops. Okay. So now at this point, if I were to render a video version of this uh, a scene, I could then project that onto the depth map geometry and actually result in a fully... Okay, and so your the Infant Studio can keep the consistent shape Yes. Locked camera, but have the lava flowing. Yes. So, so the depth map would be have the lava act, flowing. Have the accurate. smoke. So this is something we'll be announcing this this week. In that okay. Very cool. Very soon. Uh, so you you know this is the sneak peek basically <laughs> uh, for that. Um, so to be clear, once again, uh, the idea here is um, not necessarily to replace every single uh, virtual backdrop that somebody's going to be using mm. for in camera effects, but certainly we're seeing huge portions of people's um, labor being put towards uh, this. And the interesting thing about that is, you know, I think five years ago, uh, virtual production teams like mine were telling people like, okay, it's two to nine months or something like that mm. to build out your assets. We've now been on productions where morning of, mm. uh, I'm sitting uh, shoulder to shoulder with the director on a couch and we're figuring out all the assets for the rest of the day. And before lunchtime comes, they've got everything that they need to shoot for the day. That's a dramatic shift using this type of method. And I, I think it's like, um, hopefully, that's what people are responding positively to. And we're very excited that, that that's the case, that people are, are seeing yeah. that that's possible. Awesome. And can people just get access to Infinite Studio if they wanted to use Infinite Studio uh, yes. as some product? So if you want access to Infinite Studio, it's $99 a month, mm -hmm. $1,000 a year. Uh, and uh, you can find this through the Airfix app on our website. Mm. The Airfix app has a marketplace as well as all the configuration tools that you would need for virtual production. Infinite Studio is the AI component of the Airfix app. So go, gra go grab the Airfix app, it's free to download. And then Infinite Studio is a monthly or annual subscription fee. Okay. Cool, well thanks for that, appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thanks. That's it for this video, thanks for watching. And thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For all of our videos on NAB, check out our playlist right here. I'll catch you in the next episode.